Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. We're going to go over the Thursday update, which is just kind of a recap. And I'll give you guys my opinion on the new unit that's coming, or if you should skip or save for them. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe. Uh, we're on our way to 4,000 subs still. So let's go ahead and talk about Eligos. Uh, okay, so Eligos is a good... Um, his speed is great, right? If we go to his... Uh, if we just talk about his stats... He's got good speed, right? Uh, he's got he's got solid stats. Um, but when we talk about his kits, it's kind of hard to determine how good he is outside of the game because we can only watch what they give us in the video. And the only thing I can tell you is that his S3 does seem to hit like a wet noodle. His S2 does seem to be shown that it does hit hard, but once again, when they're using it, they're using it as best situation units like Green Celine that has no defense. And then his S1 is pretty cool. I think his S1 does actually, like, his, I think his S1 is actually good with the dual attack, right? But his S3 is something that makes me um, not so sure. So, after the enemy, or uh, attacks the enemy with a pistol, dispelling two buffs before inflicting target and decreased defense for two turns, um, that's really good. But, and then it says, and decreased combat readiness by 35%. This is great utility. And then you can soul burn to ignore effect resistance to land all this. It's awesome. But the damage you're doing isn't going to be that high. So when it comes to damage, his S3 is not really meant for that. It's just meant to set up for a kill. That way, his next uh, ally can, or the next unit on your team can go for the kill. And then he can set up his S2 and do a time bomb. Um, after that, I don't know if he lives or dies. It really depends on if you guiding light or don't guiding light. If he guiding lights, he probably gets an extra turn. If he does not guiding lights, you probably die, right? So for setup, he seems pretty good. Um, but the question is, how good are his multipliers? And I don't, I don't think we know that yet. So it's hard to tell. Um, if we do know his multipliers, be sure to let us know in the comments below if they're good, average, or bad. Um, I would wait a little while to let other uh, players test this guy because I'm skipping him. I think there might be something on the way after this. And I can't even hit pity anyway, so there's no point in me even trying to really spread my resources even shorter than what they are. Um, if you like him, by all means, uh, he does seem like he's going to be a cleave setup unit. Um, I'm not sure if he's going to be an opener. He's got the speed to be an opener, but I think like his opening is a bit weaker over other openers because it's just attacking one enemy and messing them up, right? So overall, he could be good. He might be mid, or he could just suck, depending on how people figure out what to use with them if they can actually make this work to where you can get a kill uh it's it's hard to say this guy's got a very interesting kit and it also depends on if the time bomb is going to be consistently killing things or if you need cracked gear on him on top of that you do want to go for imprints because he gets critical chance in his imprint and he has low base crit chance so if you want to build him a pin you need to go crazy and get some imprints for him that way you're able to go for the pen set right now when it comes to an offer you can't refuse um, a lot of us have been talking about it, and we, we keep saying, what's the point? Guiding Light is just better in every situation on Rangers. So, unfortunately for this, it does sound pretty decent, but until we get a Ranger that can just be naturally stealthed and wants this, um, honestly, Guiding Light is better, right? Uh, moving on to the next thing, the side event that we're getting will be for him, I suppose. Uh, yes, this is for him, so... Yeah, uh, we can go on to Lua. Lua is actually good, like very good. And her spatial temporal fan is pretty good too for her to set up an ally with stealth. Uh, you could pair her and our Lua and him together and she could technically stealth him if he's your eyes attacking ally if you run spatial temporal fan. Um, but you do need a lot of dudes for it. That way you can stay consistent with the stealthing. If you're asking which one you should summon between the two, you should ask yourself, are you Cleaver or are you not a Cleaver? If you're not a Cleaver, do not touch these banners. If you are a Cleaver, Lua is the obvious, better and tested broken unit. But be warned, she's banned a lot and she's kind of hard to build. You can build her for crit chance on the neck and set her for a Cavill DP or set, build her as a setup for Cavill. That's how mine is. Uh, that way, if you draft her, her s2 crits and it sets up for cavalry right? and then you can also as uh one defense break or just as re reset overall her kit's insanely busted and the fact that she's back already 
kind of makes me think they want you to spend your sky stones before the next banners so the smart thing to do would just be sit and wait until wednesday next wednesday and see what's coming before you dump everything into this because uh we have no information or no leaks or no anything on what's coming next uh except for mo like uh so i'm not saying there's a collab we don't know we just don't know what if there's anything good coming next uh it's been a while since we've had a collab so just keep just be careful i, I don't know what's going on with smilegate they're very slow this year uh what's uh the battle pass skin is going to be leaving and going into the shops so you can buy it for 60 tickets if you didn't pick it up in the pass i didn't buy the skin personally because i don't use her in so that's a me thing uh let's go to the next thing that we should talk about which is going to be the spring buff event finally so we're getting uh we're getting gold increase hunt buff increase and all that other stuff so it looks like for the important one which is going to be for global will be saturday is when we get our hunt buff so yeah save your save your leaves for saturday for friday it's going to be alters which is also very nice um and then for for sunday it's going to be ap which is also fair enough and then for monday it's going to be all buffs so if you're on the korean asian or japanese server you'll be a day before us you start thursday friday saturday and you finish sunday for the european and global we start on friday and end on monday so make sure you guys save your leaves for the saturday and the monday or sunday monday buffs Jeez, yeah um burning pa burning passion packs neat not neat um the 99 cent one's pretty good um free unequip event is coming too that will be when is this the 23rd so nice uh thursday to sunday is what it's saying so you can go ahead and switch your gear around if you need to do that this should just be every weekend but you know they, don't, they haven't done that yet um so anything other than that that's on the way i don't think so i think that pretty much covers it so fast uh the fast wrap up of this uh is uh save until next wednesday unless you're missing lua uh lua is amazing if you want to be a cleaver Eligos, I would wait for people to test him to make sure he's good and not just a fraud. Uh, it's hard to tell when we haven't have him in the game yet, and they do kind of make their showcases purposely make the unit look good. He could be very good. He could be very mid. He might just be just another worse Cavill. It's hard to tell until we test him. He does look like he's got a solid kit on paper, but we've seen this in the past, and units have sucked, even with solid kits on paper. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and for Lua, Spatial Temporal, definitely want to go for dupes if you can for this thing. But if you can avoid summoning, just use Powder instead. That would probably be the better play for you. That pretty much covers it for this stuff. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Whenever we get ML Leica in the data download for the next Mystic Banner rotation, I'll be sure to cover her kits whenever we get that information. So thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Peace.